Really, how does a house get so messy? I mean, look at my kitchen here. I have all those dishes to do, everything on the stove, crap all over the counters. I come out here to change my clothes and head out and I see all this stuff and I'm like, all right, I gotta clean this up before I go. I am not coming home to a messed up kitchen. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna be on the road to uh, Joanne Fabrics. Yeah, around here I have a lot of places. We have Michaels, Pat Catan's, Prism, Joanne Fabrics, a whole bunch of places. I'm still on the lookout for that, uh, that fabric that I need, the material. And I just got a message in my email where I got a 50% off coupon anything at Joanne Fabrics. So we're going to go there today and check because they didn't have it at Michael's yesterday. So get this crap cleaned up and then we're going to head out there. Kitchen's clean and it's time to go, but this is what I see on my windows. So now I have to get out and scrape the windows. 22 degrees. I'm ready for summer. Okay, that's done. Sorry about the blasting heat. Okay, we are up and running. It is cold out here. 21 degrees now. I really didn't want to go out in this snow because it's so cold. I don't mind driving in the snow at all. Actually, it's kind of fun. But uh, the cold is what I don't like. But I did need to go to the post office and drop off this, uh, this skateboard deck somebody bought last night. And I want to go over there to Joanne Fabrics and get uh, see if they have that fabric that I was looking for yesterday. And this is what I was talking about. I get uh, these coupons all the time. That's from Michael's. Came in the mail today. I get these coupons all the time from them in the mail and on my cell phone and in my email constantly. So I hardly ever pay any more than 50% of whatever the price is on something in that store. And because of that, that's where I go most of the time. And I only go to Joanne Fabrics or Pat Catan's if I get a similar coupon or I just can't find what I need and I need it now. So that was almost 12 bucks. Would have been about nine if I shipped it at home. But I didn't have the funds in my account directly. I only had cash. So that's why I always ship online. It's always cheaper. You always get a discount, especially if you sell on eBay, you get a huge discount. If you ever wonder why the phrase going postal exists, go to the post office sometime to ship something. Every clerk in there is always on edge. I have no idea why. Like, what's so horrible about standing there ringing things up? And I don't know. I've never worked at the post office. So maybe there's something that goes on behind the scenes that just really irks them. I don't know. But they just, they always have some kind of a chip on their shoulder. And there's only been a few in the 40 years I've been going to the post office. Okay, not quite 40, but, but there's only been a few, maybe two, the entire time that have actually smiled and taken their job with stride. All the rest of them act like you are just the biggest pain in the ass. And what are you doing there bothering them? <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, we are on to Joanne Fabrics. There's something I wanted to bring up, though, that I said yesterday that wasn't quite correct. Well, at least I didn't mean it in the way that I said it. I said that in my old vlogging style, when I made my videos before, I was at the level of... Casey Neistat. I think those were the words I chose to use, and that's not at all what I meant. There's no way in hell I was anywhere near the level of Casey Neistat. What I actually meant was that the style and the presentation was similar. When Casey started vlogging, he changed everything on YouTube, and he set a new bar for the way that vlogs are edited and presented 
and it's really difficult to not copy his style, you know, to just take inspiration from him and use it in your own way, which I think I was pretty successful doing because I have my own certain ways of editing and putting my videos together. And I mean, I purposely try to find music that is nothing like Casey Neistat's music. Sometimes you can't avoid it because it's tough to find music that is not copyrighted. But just to keep a long story short, no, I did not mean that I was anywhere near the actual level of Casey Neistat. Just, you know, presentation was similar. Time lapse, cuts, edits, you know, things like that. So, just wanted to clear that up because some people might hear that and think I'm out of my mind. <laughs> when I get over here to Belden Village, where all these stores are located, I get so confused. Pat Catan's is that way. Michael's is that way. And Joanne Fabrics is straight ahead in a totally different shopping center. But I always end up getting confused and going to the wrong one when I'm heading to another. Just like yesterday, I went to Pat Catan's instead of Michael's. This area is just so huge and the mall is right in the middle of it. Everything surrounds the mall. And amazingly, this mall is still pretty busy. You know, most malls are kind of dying out nowadays, but this one's still pretty busy. If you look back at my video I did at Christmas time on this channel, I went in there and filmed Christmas decorations and just kind of crowd footage and things like that. I believe we've found it. Well, maybe. Damn. I'm looking for blue faux fur. I found just about every color but. And my backup color was yellow. And that's the only other color they don't have. Well, I am just striking out wherever I go. I guess I have one place left. That is Pat Catan's, and I'll wait till I have a coupon. Well, that was kind of a bummer. I thought I had what I needed there for a minute, and, uh, and it didn't work out. So I'm more disappointed that I spent the time to go out there and look, and it didn't turn up anything. Because really, I like to get out and run around a little bit, get out of the house, and even though it's so cold, and unlike most guys, I love to go shopping. Most of the time, I'm like the only guy in those craft stores. <laughs> and I could literally spend hours in there. Because no matter what I go in for, I start darting around, looking at other things and getting all kinds of other ideas for things I could make. Oh well. I'm tired. I'm going to head home and uh, try to relax a little bit. I've got to get some work done, but I've got to go babysit my brother's kids tonight for about an hour because they have some kind of a meeting to go to. Babysitting again. <laughs> this is Gracie. That's Buddy. Alright, I'll turn it on again. We're watching the Frozen song for about the... Uh, 20th time in a row here. Here we go. Buddy loves the Frozen song. <laughs> Babysitting's done, and you guessed it. We're back at Walmart. <laughs> Had to grab a couple things, and I am heading home. It is 17 degrees out here now. I guess it thinks it can't get cold enough. So, I'm out of here for the night. You see what my days are like. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe. Talk to you later. Peace.